Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I want to show you a really quick little tip. It's uh, how to determine the timeout values of your TCP stack or application. In this case, we're going to pick on Telnet, which uses TCP. And basically, I'm Telnet into a switch. You can see here's my three-way handshake at the beginning. So I'm connected to my switch. And then I'm Telnetting away, la 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 la. So then all of a sudden, what do I do? I walk over and I unplug the switch. That'll do it, huh? And you can see 16.9 seven seconds later, I come over and I do something. Well, what did I try to do? Let me go to view, packet details, and you can see I simply hit enter. That's a carriage return. And you can see nothing happened, and then I start retransmitting. So we have a 300 millisecond, 600 millisecond, 1.2, so you can see it's kind of uh, just doubling, and 2.4. After that, what happens? Well, my machine, that's this MAC address here, decides to re-ARP and so on and so on and so on. So it's kind of interesting. If you ever want to see how things time out, uh, that's what I would do. If you're not sure if that's a Telnet retransmission algorithm or a TCP retransmission algorithm, I would repeat the test using uh, a web browser, for example. So if it's the same retransmissions all the time, then they're relying on the TCP or the system retransmission algorithm. And if they differ, then that's the application retransmitting. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.